Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to tag a person in Teams in our reply to that person's channel post. We're going to do this using Power Automate. Let's get started. So you can see we're building an automated cloud flow. I gave it a flow name. And for my trigger, it's going to be a Teams trigger. We scroll down, we have this option for when a new channel message is added, we're going to click create. Now I already have a Teams channel set up that I'm going to connect to. So I'm going to open up my trigger and I'm going to choose my team and I'm going to choose my channel. Click a new action here. And this is going to be another team's action and it's going to get message details. Again, get message details. So if we open this, if we search for teams and then we click see more, we have the option here for get message details. We're going to open that one. We're going to choose our message ID. So if we click dynamic content, we have the option here from our trigger for message ID. That's this one right here, the unique message of the, uh, the unique ID of the message. And then message type, going to select from the drop down and choose channel. And then we add our team and our channel. And then parent message of the, excuse me, parent message ID. So that's the ID of the parent message. And it's required that this message is a reply. Well, this message is not a reply. If we search, see more under our trigger, there is this one called message reply to ID, ID of the parent message of the thread. We're going to go ahead and select that one. Now this is going to get all the details of that, of that message. Um, and if we add a new action here, we're going to do a get at mention. That's a teams connector and it's get an app mentioned for a user. You also have the option to get it for a tag. If you've created a tag, which a bunch of people are a part of, you can do that. But that'd be um, in a way, not a way to do that dynamically, but this you can do dynamically. So you don't want to hard code that user, of course, because it's going to be a different person posting in the channel every time. So you see here, it says specify a user principle or user ID to app mention. So in order to mention them, we can apply the user ID and the user ID is actually available under get message details. So if we click see more under the dynamic content for get message details, and we scroll down, there is a from user ID. So we can select that and that's going to pass their ID to this action to create the tag. And now we can do a reply. So let's search teams and see more. And there should be one for reply with a message in a channel. And in order for this to work, I need to post as user because the user, which is the user that's created this flow is a user who is in my channel. So you have to make sure that that person is a part of your channel. And then post in and then channel and then message ID, the message that you want to reply to. So if we go to our trigger and click see more and go to message ID and then team and then channel. And then finally, adding in our message, we're going to put a greeting, hi, and then we're going to put the dynamic content of our app mentioned here. Thank you for reaching out. Now that's going to be it. So let's go ahead and test this. So let's click save. And in order to test it, we need to go over to Teams. to post in that channel. Let's just put in a subject, even though it's not required. 
I need help. Please help me. I am going to post here. Now we just have to wait for our flow to run. So I'm going to bring this over here. I'm going to go back here. Okay, our flow just ran. I'm going to bring this back over here. And we can see our post, re our reply to this post here with me tagged and our message. So that's going to do it for this video. As always, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.